I'll show you how to make a hearty French soup from the Basque region of France. So you start with uh, carrots. Carrots we're going to dice nice and small. So peel them first. Do you want small dice? That kind of size. Same size with the celery. A nice small dice of celery. So finely slice the onion, take the root off, take the top off. So the garlic we're going to dice nice and small, take the skin off, chop it till it's nice and small. Then a potato, again into small dice, so peel it first. Using a Desiree today, into small dice. Then we're going to shred, shred the savoy cabbage. Just remove, just remove that tough bit. Separate out some leaves. Then we're going to shred these nice and fine so they cook very, very quickly. We're just going to strip the leaves off the fresh herbs, so the oregano. Same with the thyme. And then the chicken thigh, just going to cut into thin strips. You can also use duck, if you fancy using duck, using chicken today. So start cooking the soup, a bit of sunflower oil, add the chicken first, and the bacon. Get all that fat from the uh, smoked bat bacon. So whilst the chicken and the bacon's cooking, I'm just going to blanch the cabbage, salted boiling water for a minute. Okay, nothing more than that. Keep it nice and green. So once that fat starts to come out of the, the bacon, start adding your hard vegetables so the celery and the carrots can go in. Onion as well. So after a minute, just drain the cabbage and just run it under cold water. Then we're just going to warm that through the soup at the last minute. So just carry on cooking. The fat will start to come out of the bacon, as I said. Add the potatoes. Our fresh herbs, thyme and oregano. And the garlic. And finally, a spice that's particular to the Basque region of France called piment d'espelette. It's a pepper that they dry and grind down. Gives it a particular flavour. Add that, good stir, and then just cover it with some chicken stock. Okay. So we just let that cook until all the vegetables are tender, and then last minute we add the cabbage and the flageolet beans. Once your vegetables are tender, add the cabbage and the beans. So once the cabbage and the beans are warmed through, you want the cabbage to stay nice and green, so don't cook it for too long. Your soup is ready to serve. Check the seasoning into soup bowls. So make sure you get a bit of everything. There you have a rustic Basque soup, potage garbure, perfect with some crusty bread.